my body feels like when I'm done, it feels like earthquake. Oh, oh, you go to flow. You feel the vibration under your feet. Boom, boom, boom. My name is Shaheen. I'm a dub dancer. I saw music and I'm an asset. I'm proud to be dub. Yes, I'm proud to be dub. You know why? Because I don't have to hear the negative around me. I grew up speaking. I talk first before I can still. ASL means American Sign Language. ASL, that people who communicate with sign, with our hand. Like hearing people speak, that people sign with the hand. And right now, I'm trying to start a dance trend for ASL Sign Language dancing combined together. Never seen it before. Music make me feel happy, make me feel free. My favorite song, Climb Out by Auntie. I taught Auntie, you feel his name? I met him maybe two years ago. It's because my brother, he worked for Auntie, he danced back up dancing for Auntie. When I was 16, I taught my brother how to dance. His name Kita the Great. He was on so you think you can get a TV show. You want that show. Look cool, proud. He's learning from a deaf brother. <laughs> deaf people want, people want to listen to me too. People say, no, you can't be deaf, you can't hear anything. That's a matter. Go to the concert, you can feel it. Boom, boom. You can feel that too, they don't have to hear the word. We all can find together. I mean, every night, it helped me hear a little bit, but not everything, not all. You know how I listen to the music? So I put my hand on the speaker to feel it, to memorize the beat over again. Then again, the what next? Setting the word, the lyrics. Again, again, again. The next dance. Put it together in one. I work hard. People think that I cannot be dope because I'm so good. Prize to make. Perfect, right? So we are an instrument. We are a part of their band. And then you're providing and opening up so many doors for deaf people um, who've already been fighting for this access daily. The first time I went to a concert and I saw them two interpreting on stage, I was like, that's when I was like, I understand how the deaf culture can really be involved with the concerts and be able to go to festivals and really appreciate and enjoy that. Just like the hearing community. At the age of four, 
I lost my hand because I bad nerd and my internet is I got sick. High school, yeah, they put me in a depth program. Freshman year high school, I started learning ASL and meeting depth people there. It was cool. And I started liking it. I feel happy. I was like, wow, I can communicate. I can understand. I'm not alone anymore. But what inspired me to dance? My dad. So my dad was a dancer too. He died before I was born. So I would never thought he was a dancer. Okay. My family showed me a video of him. And I looked, I'm like, wow, so good. I wanna be like that. Ah, six, seven, eight. What motivated me to teach? Because I want to break gap between the depth and the hate community. Why not teach the world kids new kind of dancing? They never spent for it. Deaf people feel connected with me because I'm deaf and I'm fine. So it's easy for them to understand. When I go to my dance class, we have loud beats of dancing because we have to have to feel the beats. So yeah, it was really fun because you get to have the feeling up to your body. So it was like, ready to dance. My dream in the future, I want to do choreography with sign for other artists. I would go um, backup dancer for a singer or a rapper, but behind that, we dance for him in sign language. That's what I want. I just want some help being a role model for the deaf community. See, should never give up. Show the world that people can. This video is part of a larger series on the deaf community. Here are some of the incredible people featured in this series. Subscribe to catch all of these amazing stories on this season of Untold America. And let us know what community we should cover next.